Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm vlogging in front of like a college campus, like on my college campus right now, so I hope people don't think I'm weird. I'm sorry, there's a lot of noise. Again, college campus. But hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. I have another um, unboxing and makeup haul. A lot of these products, um, no, 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 I lied. It's in, Some of these products are organic, however, some of them are also not organic. Um, I will show you the difference between difference between the two and I will also do a swatching on the lipsticks for you all right so the first product I have here is a white pencil and it's an eye stick so um, what you do is you just put it on as if it's eyeshadow throw that back in the box the second product I have for you guys is an eye stick as well except it's in a different color so that one was in white and this one was in purple this one is in purple so there's the color so the shade is 09 and it's bling bling eye stick I don't know how these products eye stick. I don't know how these products are going to work. However, I can do a monthly favorites and if they're in it, awesome. If they're not, then it means it probably wasn't that good. But I am excited to try this out. Sorry, I had kind of a tough day, so I'm like a little out of it, a little out of it, but I love vlogging, so I'm trying to vlog, so maybe that'll help and then you guys get to see new products and yeah. Um, for the next product, Oh, I also put a couple products in here that were already purchased, um, but I put it all in one um, box, one bag. One product I'm really excited about is the Born to Glow Highlighter. It's a liquid illuminator highlighter, um, and I'm very, very excited. Focus. Yes, yeah, so I'm very, very excited because I used a powder... Um, highlighter and it was like not the same and I hope people don't think I'm weird I'm talking to myself um it was not the same so um I think this is going to make the monthly favorites because this highlighter is supposed to be really good and I'll see what you guys think um so there's that oh my god so there's that yikes tough day for vlogging today um so the last the there's three more products I'm going to show you um, but for one of the, for this vlog, I'm going to compare two lipsticks for you guys. And one of them is Revlon in the shade Pink Cloud. In focus. Yes. And then the other one is in the shade Pink Minx. So this is by e.l.f. And this is by Revlon. And I'm going to swatch them real quick. And, um... I totally forgot what I was going to say. Um, yeah, so there's these two lipsticks. Okay, sorry, it's going to take me a second to open. Um, I hope people understand I'm a vlogger and I'm not just talking to myself every time I go on camera. Oh, so I wanted to tell you guys, I'm probably going to take a filming class. One, because I'll know what my boyfriend is talking about when it comes to film, because sometimes he's going into directing so when he talks about film sometimes I get really confused and I know I'm getting smarter when it comes to film but I still don't know as much as him um so I want to understand our conversations more um and the second reason is because I'm a vlogger I want to be able to use the best camera the best lighting etc so I'm hoping a photography class will help with that or you know a video production or some kind of class in regards to film um, I don't know what to do with all this rubbish, so I'm just gonna throw it in this bag for now. Sorry about how long that took. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick swatch for you guys. Really excited. I love Revlon products. Look at how great this wand is. So I'm so excited. Um, so here's the swatch for you guys. Wow, okay. When they said pink cloud I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit pinker you know like a darker shade 
what? Apparently not. Um, there it is. Let me put it on for you guys. Hmm. It's pretty, but it's really, really subtle. Um, it's a good natural look. But if you're someone who likes darker lips, don't recommend this product. However, I do recommend Revlon products, but I don't recommend that color if you don't want to have a neutral look. But if you are going for a neutral look, this is the color. This color, for the people who do not like natural looks, here is a darker shade. Um, this is by e.l.f. and this is Pink Minx. Now, look at the difference between the two. That's the first one, this is the second, this is the Elf, so that's this product. This has a little bit of an orange tint to it. The camera is giving it justice. It is not pink, it's pink, but it is has a lot of orange in it. However, it is a darker shade. Look at how much darker that is. Um, I don't wanna put it on top of my lips because then it'll distort the color because I already have this one on. If you like a more natural look, this lipstick, if you like a darker look, this lipstick. However, the one thing I do like about this is the fact that it's Revlon. I love Revlon lipsticks. If I could own just Revlon, I probably would. However, not all of their lipsticks are cheap, which is why I try to not always get Revlon. However, when they are, I'm going to buy them. Um, Alright guys, the last product I'm going to show you is Organic. And if you guys have seen my vlogs, you know I've already used their products. However, I need more of them, so I purchased more, but a different kind. I'll show it to you and then it'll make sense. So this is the Echo Tools 5-Piece Travel Collection. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you have seen me use the, I think it's Echo Tools. But it's like ecological, like, I don't know, because it's like, no, ecological, no, no, no. I don't know if it's eco tools or echo tools. I want to say eco, but I'm sorry. I might be messing up on this, but it's basically related to the environment. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm not remembering the name, but um, I'm going to call them eco tools. This is the eco tools five piece travel collection. And you've seen me use a smaller um, eyeshadow, but this is a cosmetic bag and there's a cover for foundation foundation brush powder brush shade blending for shades and then a smaller one for eyeshadow so um it's a it can be a full face look as opposed to just eyes so that's why I got this and the really cool thing is on the back if you don't if you're a beginner at makeup or you want a different kind of look, it actually has instructions as to which brush to use. Be in focus. Um, cover, smooth, shade, define. And it actually shows you how you can do this complete look using these brushes. It's good for beginners, it's good for people who just don't know that particular look. Sometimes I just need to, look, need to look at it for reference just so I feel a little more confident when I'm doing my makeup. And yeah, I'm also trying to be good about the amount of makeup I buy and not buy like so much that it's overwhelming, but buy enough that I'm not like, oh shoot, I forgot this foundation or I forgot this because I'm in college. So I can't just, it's a little, it's possible for me to run out and get more makeup, but it's not, I just don't have my car and I can't just drive. It's not like in Denver where I'm like, oh shoot, I don't have this makeup. Let me just drive to Target real quick. Or, you know what I mean? I have to think about like, which classes am I taking right now? How far of a distance is it from walking, etc. So I'm trying to be conservative about the makeup I'm using, but still have enough. So that's why I showed you guys a small makeup collection for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.